Hey everyone, it's the Mercy Use Nintendo here, and today um, I did get something in the mail, and uh, this product I got uh, said it was be coming on the 7th of February, but for some reason it came early today, and that product is this. It's uh, another game gun for Nintendo Switch, and as you can see, the box is already damaged because that's how it already came in, and it says that uh, improve operation accuracy. Double grip design, the rear grip is fixed in position, and the front grip is adjusted. And precisely at the target, the ergonomic design is more convenient to use. When you play a shooter, what is an authentic gaming experience? This product can meet your needs. This is some open rolls and design that simulate the immersive game process. So the specification here, this is about like 293, 161, 53 millimeters. Applied to Nintendo Switch. This is the model number GNS870. The net weight is about 153.2 grams. This thing was developed over in the People's Republic of China. And the material is ABS. Made in the People's Republic of China. Which, if you guys don't know what I keep saying, People's Republic of China, that is the official name for China. So, uh, let's see what's inside in here. Well, what we got in here is... The accessory, guys. See, look. The game gun. Oh! You guys, look. It's shaped like an SMG here. Isn't this really cool, guys? So, if you guys remember the last time I made a video about uh, a Nintendo Switch uh, game gun shotgun, if you guys remember, uh, it's this one here. Yeah. This one is similar to this, except um, this one here is just a re-upgrade of the previous Switch shotgun. This one here is basically shaped like an SMG. And, uh... Let's grab the Joy-Cons to see if this thing works with them. Let's go. All right, guys, so um, we have this, and then we got the Joy-Cons. So um, this is how you put it in. Like, you just grab this one here, and then you just put it, like, right here. Let me check if it fits the shape. Ah, oh, yes. Seems like it fits the shape. Kind of hard to put it in. And then we got the other one here. Uh, it goes like right here. Um, just... uh, there we go. Now I'm shaped like an actual gun here. An SMG. So, just like from last time, we'll be testing out some games that use motion controls from this thing. So, let's test out the games. Alright guys, so um, we're going to be testing out the accessory here with uh, motion control games like gyro control, stuff like that. So um, we're going to try a Smart Galaxy here. Let's try and see if it works. Smart Galaxy here. Now let's try uh, pressing the R button here. Somehow it works. This is pretty strange. Playing Mario here, Smart Galaxy with an SMG, it's pretty strange actually. Let's try aiming here for this. Wow, I can't believe I'm shooting a star like this. <laughs> get it? Shooting star? You get it? Yeah. Now let's try another emotion game. Which is Splatoon 3. We'll test that to see if this works with Splatoon 3. Let's get to that game. But first of all, I need to put it in a physical cartridge. Another Splatoon 3, let's try with this. Uh, so it kind of works pretty strange, actually. So I was going to aim it like I'm shooting something like this. Oh, it doesn't, it just aims like up here, like you're up in the sky or something, it's like this, 
it does work, but you're not gonna be able to play like an actual SMG or something like this. So, yeah. You will have to play like it's this here. Like, uh, if you're, if you're trying to play like this, you're just gonna keep aiming up in there. You just gotta keep aiming like it's up here, like that. Yeah. Total mess. Then let's try Sumari 3 War plus Bowser Fury. Like, if you remember last time, I pressed the R button and they used uh, gyro controls for the aiming thing. Alright, so um, next up we're trying Sumari 3 War plus Bowser Fury. So, um, can I aim it like this? Remember, I press, uh, tilt the control like this. It feels kind of strange actually playing like last time, you know, Sumari 3 War with a gun. Yes. Feels pretty strange actually. Yeah, guys, see look how strange that is? See how strange it is? Even like trying to aim here. Most Americans. Sorry, guys. It's not about something. Oh god, see look, it's pretty strange actually to play Smart 3D World with a gun. It's pretty strange. Then the next game we're trying out is basically the same game I tried with that accessory up. House of the Dead. So, the next game we're trying out is The House of the Dead. Remake. With this accessory, it might work pretty well. Like, the shotgun accessory. Like, let's try to see how you play it. Well, basically, here, this is shaped like a, some type of like mag or something like that. Oh, wait, SMGs have these handles just in case we got fire. But like this. This here has a trigger, which means I can fire. Wow, like that. Like that. It works pretty well, guys. Selfie? It works pretty well, actually. Just use gyroscope. Rogan. It. It somehow actually works. works somehow. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but it works! You know, you're, just use the AR mode like that, and then look. Basically, like, you're shooting like it's an SMG or something. Like it's an SMG, like a... Uh, blasting like it's an SMG. Die! Die! Come on, it actually works. Here. She works. You. You're welcome, man. Can't believe I'm actually gonna say this, but it actually works. Like, if you're gonna be playing House of the Dead the remake on Switch, it's best to get either 
Well, basically, this or from last time, the shotgun accessory I showed you. To make it look like you're actually, like, in the game. And when you're playing this, like, you know, if you're gonna get this, switch to AR mode. Because, you know, you can change, like, you have to use this button here to switch to an AR. That one right there? Oh, ho, ho. You can only use the accessories that you can only shoot once, not like shoot rapidly like this. So like that. Yeah. So overall, this is a pretty good accessory to have like, I mean, it's being shaped like an SMG, you get to fire like this, something like that. I mean, for Super Mario Galaxy, it works pretty good. And Super Mario 3 World with Bowser's Fury, it also works. But for Splatoon 3, eh, it's kind of neutral actually like you know you're only playing like this and then you just and then when you're trying to aim up look it just basically means you're going like this and then like that but for house of the dead the remake it actually works pretty good actually like this is pretty beneficial if you're gonna use an ar if you have the shotgun accessory like that either with or with no scope and the accessory of story and games you can only be able to use the, basically the grenade launcher, the pitter, crossbow, just the pistol. While this, you can use the AR. Pretty cool, huh guys? So, um, I actually, soon, since I have both of these accessories, I might as well do a review on which of these is better to be playing with. Like, comparison, you know, like, Either this accessory or the shotgun accessory, which uh, let me grab for a moment. Uh, this accessory here. I mean, these things are pretty fairly cheap to buy. You usually can get these on Amazon uh, for like it varies. Like if you, I got this for like fourteen dollars and twelve cents. This here, seventeen dollars and eighty nine cents. So, I'll do a comparison, like, which one do you think is better for you to get? Like, if you're going to be playing uh, the following games I played, but most of all, the House of the Dead remake, I'll be comparing, like, which one of these is better to be playing with. So, yep, uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also, guys, uh, I am at 943 subscribers. I only need about, like... So, uh, 943, about like, that's 59, that's 59, 57 subs, I think, yeah, 57 guys, I don't think so, oh guys, I'm almost close to 1,000 subs, that way so I can start my Draw My Life video, so, Let's get to 1,000 subs so I can do that video. See ya. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.